Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about uh, solo dynamic. Okay, now this is a s type of snail I've been working on. Uh, rotate around. I've mostly created him using a clay build-up brush. Right here. I, I've used this to generate the shape of the this crazy snail I'm working on. It's not done yet, but I've got all the shapes and colors and materials in. But I really wanted to discuss the solo, um, solo dynamic. Now everybody knows that solo, I have a bunch of subtools right here. When you activate solo, it hides everything else but the subtool you are on. So if you had two million subtools, you would be just looking at the subtool you are highlighted on or you have selected. Okay. If we turn this off, you'll notice that there is a dynamic button or dynamic text right above solo. That is a button that you can press click on and off and I'm going to talk about what it does as far as I know when you turn dynamic on and you select the subtool that you want to um, use in a solo fashion like this it, you know it, initially you don't think that it's doing anything but if you turn solo off and you move around it hides all your other subtools while you navigate. This would be useful in a really crowded scene, perhaps, maybe New York or wild forest or you know some ant in the, the pyramids of Egypt, something like that. Um, you can select any subtool, and whenever you move around, everything else but that subtool will be hidden. Is, if anybody else knows any other reason for this, please tell me, because I would love to expand my uh, knowledge in ZBrush. Okay, thanks everybody.